Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Chloe. It's nice to meet you. Today I'm coming to you with my updated tanning routine. I'm in Miami if the background's a little bit different and I've been so excited to film this video just because I wanted to do a fresh tan for you guys. And um, before we get into it, I want to thank Loving Tan for working with me on this video. Anyone who knows me knows that I genuinely use Loving Tan. I recommend it to all my friends. And um, I mean, it's pretty clear to see why. I feel like it looks super natural. It makes me feel so confident. And I feel my best when I have a tan on. Um, so I'm going to show you how I get my tan looking like this. Also a disclaimer, I put my tan on, rinsed it off the same day, next day got my hair done, and then filmed um, like the after shot. So if my hair looks darker in the after my, like when I wash it off, it's because it is, it's darker now and it's a little shorter. Yeah, just wanted to throw that out there. Hey guys, so about a year ago I filmed um, pretty much the same video. This is just going to be like an updated tanning routine. I feel a little bit uncomfortable because I'm just in a bathing suit right now. Um, but I'm in the same spot where I filmed last year's video and I'm going to show you guys how I've been doing my fake tan. Today I am going to be using the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in the shade Dark. The 2 Hour Express is literally so convenient especially for days like today. And I'm also gonna be using their Deluxe Applicator Mitt. So I showered, I worked out this morning, I showered, blow dried my hair, and I'm actually applying this and then going out to the mall. Um, I feel really comfortable doing this because this tan doesn't really smell like pink tan. It has like a really light, almost kind of floral scent. Also, it's quick drying, so once you apply it, it's not sticky, um, you don't have to sleep in it or stay home all day. Like me, clearly, I'm going and putting an outfit on and going out to the mall after this. First, let me make sure I'm in focus because I almost always film these videos and then I'm never in focus. Okay, so this is my bottle. I'll do three pumps and then I'll start my legs. I shaved my legs yesterday. Um, I didn't shave in the shower today. I don't love shaving them like right before I do my tan just because sometimes it can get into your pores if you shave too soon before um, but a day before is totally fine you can even shave when you're in the shower after washing it off so yeah I do three pumps on my calf lower leg area and then I'll work my way down to my feet ankles and toes don't get your toes ladies make sure you guys get the back of your heel really well kind of flex your foot and rub that in just because that back of the heel creases and that's kind of like a dead giveaway spot. Also, the inside of the feet, make sure that's nice and blended. I didn't apply any moisturizer after my shower. The only thing I did do was just apply my regular face moisturizer. A lot of people tend to apply moisturizer like on the knees, wrists, ankles, I don't really find that necessary. I feel like this is um, easy enough that like it doesn't get splotchy. But once it's washed off, it's not splotchy at all. As long as you get it on, then it's it's even once it rinses. So that makes it super easy. Another thing I want to mention about this tanning mousse. I know there's so many of them. Oh, I did another three pumps on my upper leg region and then I almost do one pump on the butt. <laughs> so Loving Tan products deliver a really brown olive color. I'm not sure if you can see. A lot of brands just contain DHA um, so you end up getting a buildup of low grade DHA and that is when you start getting that orange color that fake tan I think more in the past has had a bad reputation have. Honestly okay I take that back. Some girls these days still Still haven't figured it out, but anyways, what I'm trying to say is this gives you a very nice, true olive brown shade. Can you see that? Like, that's insane. So once the tan is developed, it can last up to 10 days, especially if you're using a moisturizer. So like for me, I use a body oil every time I get out of the shower, and this just prevents fading and it provides for more like even fading. Also just moisturize when you get out of the shower like just for your well-being you know. Again one pump for my butt. Okay so now my lower body is tan. 
Upper body is not, clearly. Um, yeah, I work from the bottom up. No fake tan can be pretty scary. I'm doing three pumps for my stomach. Um, because you wanna make sure you apply it evenly and that it's not patchy, but one thing I really love about loving tan is as long as you get it on and you get it all over your body, once it rinses off, it will be super even. Like I mentioned earlier, um, I am gonna be wearing this out. That's another reason I love the two hour express because um, I don't mind sleeping my fake tan, but you do have to wash your sheets after. And this way, I'm just wearing it to the mall and then when I get back from the mall, I'm gonna rinse it off. And once you, it's not waterproof, like when I'm going to the mall, I'm not gonna get wet. But once I rinse it off after the mall, it is going to be waterproof. One reason I like doing this on clean skin is because, for example, like your armpits don't have deodorant on them, which may get in the way of the tan sticking perfectly. I actually find that sometimes I feel like I've gained a little bit of weight, but really it's just because I haven't applied tan in a long time. So once I've done my whole arms, I take what's left on the mitt and start doing my hands. I roll each finger like this and just blend nicely. Okay, do you guys see that difference? This arm is tan, this one's not, clearly. People stress out about the back and say that you need someone else to do your back. Um, I don't know if I just have like really long arms, but I do my back myself. Um, as long as you just use less product and slowly build up, I feel like it's not scary at all. So, two pumps, I'm gonna do lower back. And again, it doesn't have to be perfectly even when you're applying, as long as you apply all over, then you'll be fine. And just make sure you blend it in on the sides. Um, I switch my mitt back and forth from both hands, and I just do my best to cover it, and honestly, like, it's your back. No one's really gonna see it that much, so. Never mind. And then the upper back, this is a little harder, but again, I just use, like, one pump. your best to <laughs> blend it as much as possible. Now, I wanna talk about face and neck. So today I'm going to be using this Deluxe Face Tan, specifically formulated for your face, and it's tinted, so it's just like a tan and go product. It's also a two hour development, so it works fast. I'm doing this with my fingers, and then I'm just gonna wash my hands, like wash my fingers. See, and that automatically gave me just like a tinted look. So next I'm gonna go back to my mousse and I'm gonna do one pump for my neck. I want my neck to be really dark just because I match my foundation to my neck, not my face. So um, I wanna give myself you know, enough of a color difference. I find that this area is super important just because there's a lot of places to blend. So into the hairline and onto the ears. Super important behind the ears. I'm going to layer a little bit of mousse on top of my face tan. I really like using that face tanner just because if you think about it, I'm exfoliating a couple times a week, I'm washing my face every night, every morning. So that tan is gonna wash off your face quicker than um, your body. So I'm just gonna take a little bit. This is on the other side of the mitt. And just start working into my face. So as I was saying, your tan washes off quicker off your face off your body so that deluxe face tan that's super nice just to maintain that tan on your face so i kind of just mix it into my skincare routine like every other day just when i feel like i need a little refresher on my face there's nothing better i think than having a tan face because i feel like i have to i don't have to wear as much foundation concealer i just i feel way more confident without makeup when i have a tan face um again i just put regular moisturizer on my face um, after I showered. And that's how I apply my tan. So now I'm gonna wait two hours or just until I get back from the mall. And then I'm gonna rinse it off and show you guys my final product. But this is what we're, what we're working with. The day has passed since I applied the tan. I did rinse it off the same day, but clearly my hair is darker. So I got my hair done. As you can see, it's such a deep olive brownish color looks really natural and actually 
Yesterday, someone at the mall asked me where I've been on vacation because I looked really bronze, and I told them, actually, it's just loving tan, so. Now I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about the products that I was using in this video. First of all, the mitt. Um, you guys have heard me talk about Loving Tans Mint before. It really doesn't seem like it should be that big of a deal, but let me tell you why this mint is so good. It's because most mitts only have this like thick like applicator material on one side, and then the other side is like a sheer cloth. When that happens, and you end up getting tan all over your hands in case like, you know when it like goes on the other side, and then your hands are all orange, and then it's just not good. So I highly recommend their applicator. A two-hour Express Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. This is in the shade Dark, and this is the one... Um, that I used in the video. The okay, a lot of reasons why I like this. Um, first of all, obviously because it's two hours. Um, you can totally use the overnight one, and then you can sleep in it. And even if it gets on the sheets, it's not a big deal. It washes out perfectly fine. But this one, you don't even have to sleep in it. It literally develops in two hours or five hours, however long you want to keep it on. Um, and some of my favorite things about Loving Tans Mousse is first of all the duration that it lasts. Um, it lasts like a good 10 days. Um, I moisturize every time I shower or every time like when I get out of the shower which also obviously prolongs the wear of it but it's so long lasting. The way it fades is so beautiful and it delivers this like natural brownish olive color and that is intentional. It's the ingredients that they put into the tan. Another thing that I love obviously is that it's so easy to apply so you guys saw that I applied it and then I went to the mall and I actually did go to the mall. Um, one of my favorite things about this mousse is that you can put it on and you can go in public because it dries down. It's not sticky at all. It doesn't smell like your typical tan. It has a kind of like a light floral scent almost, I would say, or maybe like a little coconutty maybe. Um, but anyways, like you can totally wear it in public and no one's going to be like, oh my gosh, why does she look like that? Or why does she smell like that? So don't worry about that. Another product that I want to talk to you guys about today is this deluxe face tan in dark. Um, this product you can totally use like when you're tanning. I, I just applied this mousse straight onto my face, which it totally works like that. And that's what I like to do when I first apply the tan. But then my face fades quicker than my body does just because every morning and night I'm washing it. I'm using products with acids. I'm using retinols. Anyways, all of that. So my skin is peeling off and the tan obviously fades. So this I use as like a maintenance product. It's so easy to use. You basically use it like a moisturizer. It develops in two hours. It also has amazing ingredients like acai berry, green tea, aloe vera, and pomegranate. So it's really good for your skin. It doesn't clog your pores. Let's use this as a maintenance product. So I'll probably use this tonight after I wash my face, wash all my makeup off, do my exfoliator. I'll just put my moisturizer on and then put this on top. And that'll just keep my face even to my body. One last product that I love. Um, it's like top three products from Loving Tan. It's definitely the Tan Removing Skin Polishing Glove. This is my second one that I have. When this tan, when it starts to get to like day seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever, and I see that it's fading or if it's a little bit splotchy and I want to apply a fresh tan, then I'll go in with this and this stuff takes, it takes the tan off like an eraser. It just like, it just starts beating off your skin, like the little your little tan skin whatever just starts like coming off so nicely leaves you feeling like a little baby and it's seriously so good so if you are looking for a way to remove your tan before you apply a fresh one i would highly recommend this one okay guys that's all i have for you today i hope you liked my updated tan in your teen i know it's a little bit different than the typical vlogs i do but um yeah i feel like my tan is like a part of me wish you guys a happy new year and i will see you in 2021 bye